Dear students, let's discuss part three of personalized medicine topic. In this today, we are going to discuss categories of patients for personalized medicines. This is a topic of drug delivery system subject of M Farm Pharmaceutics PCI syllabus. In the previous videos, we have already discussed introduction, definition, key aspects of personalized medicine and pharmacogenetics. But in today's video, we are going to discuss various categories of patients for personalized medicines. So let's see the introduction. The personalized medicines involves tailoring medical treatment to the individual characteristics of each patient, including their genetic makeup, environmental factors and lifestyle choices. According to these, the tailoring of the medicines or tailoring of the therapy is undertaken. So these are the categories of patients which we are going to discuss in which we will be going to discuss genetically predisposed patients, then patients with pharmacogenetic variations, cancer or oncology patients, patients with rare disease, patients with chronic diseases, pediatric patients or kids, then elderly patients or geriatric patients and patients in clinical trials. So first is genetically predisposed patients. So the patients who have genetic variants associated with increased risk of developing certain diseases. For these patients, personalized medicine approach is very important as early detection, prevention and targeted treatment could be achieved. In this, what we do is we do genetic testing so that the genetic variants could be identified and according to that, the personalized interventions are guided so that the disease risk is reduced and also the adverse effect or side effects are reduced. And we know that this predisposition is often inherited from one or both the parents and this can be detected by genetic testing and thereby the therapy could be planned. So these are common genetically predisposed conditions like first is cancer like breast and ovarian cancers. These are linked to mutations in genes like BRCA1 and BRCA2. Second cardiovascular diseases in this gen genetic factors can increase the risk of conditions like coronary artery disease and hypertension. Then third is diabetes. We know that both type 1 and type 2 diabetes have genetic components. Then neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer and Parkinson's disease. These also have genetic links. Then autoimmune disorders like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus can be influenced by genetics. Next category is patients with pharmacogenetic variations. In this, the patients have genetic variations at a Due to that, uh, if we get to know that these genetic variations and accordingly um, by pharmacogenetic testing, you can decide the drug selection, dosing and accordingly the monitoring could be done. So here patient's genetic profile is understood and according to that the health care uh, healthcare providers, they provide drug therapy to improve efficacy and minimize the risk of adverse effects. Example is CYP450 enzyme variations could be there, then drug transporter variations, enzyme deficiency variations, HLA genotype variations and receptor variations. These are various type of genetic variations which could be identified and accordingly personalized medications could be planned. Next is cancer or oncology patients. We know that for these patients, we can identify uh, properly the variants and then the targeted therapies could be achieved. And here genetic mutations and molecular characteristics of the individual tumors are assessed. And for that, molecular profiling of the tumors are done which can identify specific biomarkers that guide treatment decisions such as use of targeted therapies immunotherapies or combination therapies. For example, a patient with non-small cell lung cancer 
who has specific mutation in the epidermal growth factor receptor gene may benefit from targeted therapies such as gefitinib or enlotinib which specifically inhibits egfr signaling pathways so by understanding the tumor's characteristics we can again tailor the medication next is patients with rare diseases the patients with rare diseases may benefit by targeting the underlying genetic cause of their condition we can we know that the advances in gene therapy gene editing and other precision medicine technologies offer new treatment options for patients who have rare genetic disorders which are or which were previously untreatable or poorly managed for example a patient diagnosed with cystic fibrosis who carries specific mutations in cftr gene can be benefited by personalized treatment with cftr modulator therapies like ivacaftor lumacaftor or tizacaftor which target the underlying genetic defect then comes patients who have chronic diseases like diabetes cardiovascular disease or autoimmune disease they can also be benefited by the personalized medicine approaches and they will take into account their unique genetic environmental as well as lifestyle factors and accordingly the optimized treatment is given and they improve the quality of life as well as the uh, disease management programs are designed for them for example a patient with rheumatoid arthritis who tests positive for specific genetic markers like hla drbi may benefit from personalized treatment with biological therapies like tumor necrosis factor inhibitors or interleukin 6 inhibitors then comes pediatric or geriatric uh, pediatric patients or children with genetic disorders or complex medical condition they will be benefited from from these personalized medication approaches and here genetic testing and precision medicine technologies are used and they identify the genetic causes of the pediatric diseases and according to that the treatment strategies are planned to improve the long term outcomes for example a newborn if a newborn is diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy that is sma may be benefited from gene replacement therapy with a personalized medicine such as onesamnogen abiparvovixioi which is zolgensma which targets the underlying genetic cause of the disease then comes elderly patients or geriatric patients older adults often have multiple problems there are few age related changes also in the metabolism of them and increase susceptibility to adverse drug reactions personalized medicine approach can optimize medication management reduce polypharmacy and improve the medication safety and efficacy in elderly patients for example an elderly patient with alzheimer disease who carries apoe for allele may require personalized treatment approaches that take into account their genetic risk factors such as lifestyle modifications cognitive interventions or targeted therapies under investigation in clinical trials next comes patients in clinical trials so here these approaches are increasingly incorporated into clinical trials to identify subgroup of patients who are most likely to benefit from investigational therapies here biomarker driven clinical trials help to stratify patients based on their genetic or molecular profiles and then improve the efficiency of drug development by targeting therapies to those most likely to respond then comes few examples like cardiovascular patients like patients who have heart diseases are benefited as they include tailored medication plans so here for example a patient with atrial fibrillation who carries a specific genetic variation in CYP2C9 and VKORC1 genes may require personalized dosing of anticoagulant drug warfarin to achieve optimal therapeutic outcomes while minimizing the risk of bleeding then patients who have infectious diseases they are also benefited for example 
uh, in selecting the most effective antiviral or antibiotic based on the genetic profile of the pathogen and the patient. Here examples include HIV treatment tailored to the patient's viral genotype and host genetics. Then patient infected with hepatitis C virus may undergo genetic testing to determine their IL-28B genotype which can help to predict their responses to interferon based therapy and guide the treatment decisions. Another example is for neurological patients. For example, patient who has epilepsy and carries a specific genetic mutation in the SCN1A gene may require personalized treatment with anti-seizure medications which are tailored to their genetic profile so that better seizure control and minimized adverse effects are achieved. Next example is for mental health patients, the patients or individuals who have psychiatric conditions. Then the treatment could be optimized based on genetic, biochemical and psychological factors. They include pharmacogenomic testing to find the most effective psychiatric medications with the least side effects. So thank you so much. Stay connected with Sai and New Pharma. In next part, we'll be discussing about customized drug delivery systems. If you have not subscribed our channel, then do like, share and subscribe the channel Sai and New Pharma. And in comment section, do write how you are uh, having the experience of watching our videos and do suggest us about what you want more or more corrections in our videos. Stay connected with Sai Edu Pharma.